I'm Anil Kumar and this is for my students who have just started learning multiplication of polynomials. The question here is expand and simplify 2x minus 3 whole square. So let's understand what it means. 2x minus 3 whole square really means it is 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. So this binomial is multiplied by itself and that is how we get a square there, right? So, so that is the first part. And now we will expand using distributive property. So that is to say, we'll multiply 2x by both these terms, 1 by 1, and then by minus 3, right? So we'll get four terms. So let's do it. 2x times 2x is 2 times 2 is 4. And x times x is x squared. So we get 4x squared. Now multiply 2x by minus 3. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. That is how we get this sign. And x itself. Now we'll multiply by minus 3 times 2x. Minus 3 times 2x will give minus 6x. And minus 3 times minus 3. Minus and minus is positive. 3 times 3 is 9. So we get so whenever you do, you may get some like terms. So now at this stage, we'll combine the like terms. So we have 4x squared minus 6x and minus 6x is minus 12x plus 9. So that is how you can find square of a binomial, correct? So, so this is the way to do it. Let's take up another question. And this time, let us say we have... 2x plus 5 whole square, right? So we'll go through this process again. So that really means it is 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. We have to apply the distributive property. That is to say, first you multiply by 2x, both these terms, 2x plus 5, right? So I'm kind of elaborating on this. And then you multiply by 5, both these terms. 2x plus 5. That is what it means, right? Then you need to expand. So 2x times 2x. So 2x times 2x. Multiply 2x by 5 also. So 2x times 5 plus expand these ones. 5 times 2x plus 5 times 5. So this time I'm giving you all the steps rather than explaining as I did earlier, right? So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2 times 5 is 10, we get 10x. 5 times 2 is 10, we get 10x. 5 times 5 is 25, right? So combine the like terms, we get 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. So if you do like this, always you get this kind of an answer. In general, what you can do is, you can do what is a plus b whole square equals to. So that is an exercise for you. And if you do a plus b whole square, you'll get a square plus 2ab plus b square. Try a minus b whole square also. You'll get a square minus 2ab plus b square. So squaring binomial is kind of working like this. And that is the standard formula for squaring binomials, which could be applied in most of the cases, right? As an exercise, you can check if this formula works for the examples which you have done. That should give you a very good idea about squaring binomials right? And that gives you a practice on polynomial multiplication also. I'm Anil Kumar. Subscribe to my videos and share them with your friends. Thank you and all the best.